Well, hello, welcome to you. We have a bit of a winter wonderland. Look at the scene in front of us now. Not enough snow, I'm glad to report, to jeopardise the game, though we must keep our fingers crossed that it remains that way. There did have to be a pitch inspection, of course, but the referee was quite content that he would be able to make the requisite decisions, see all of the pitch, all of the lines, as he needs indeed to do. So it is, despite this snow, very much business as usual here. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Banfield have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition and we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. And that gets things running. Goes direct to the front line. Tries to stroke it through. It'll be a corner. better and he knows it uh, that's a little unfortunate he had a lot of people worried then over to the other flank Back to the keeper and go again tries to get it forward quickly hoists it forward looking to get within range good run ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Oh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Takes it out to the wing. have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Driving on, he could shoot here. Oh, it's a foul, they're right on the edge of the box. And the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. He's gone for goal! Good run through the middle, but he needs support. He's got options out wide. Lifting it over. Hit into the middle. And that's been levered clear. Going for goal! He's scored! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it and... That was a good example, great contact, and the keeper had very little chance.
Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And it's paid for. And the finish! A good save. He's read that very well. Force brings it forward. Gets wrestled off the ball. Tries to locate someone up front. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Tries to switch the play. Banfield are still behind as we reach out for half-time. If they're going to counter, it has to be pacier and much more decisive. Field changing the point of attack. Out towards the flank. Gorgeous control there. Played into the middle. Keeper has beaten it away. And that's been won straight back. Tries to get it forward quickly. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But Robert still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. And the game has already resumed here. Banfield need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. And here's the chance to counter. Across the field it goes. Hoists it forward. Goes long. Oh, that's clever. Looks to play him in. But, uh, a minor communications breakdown. Has he found his man? It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Steered forward. 
he's made sure that that won't get through. Your impression so far, Jim? Banfield are now matching their opponents blow for blow despite the scoreline. No shrinking violets out there. Kings it out wide. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Nicely controlled. Well played, he saw that coming. Has a hit! And all! Oh! Banfield are definitely going about this the right way. This isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Strong punch. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. He's left his man. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Balls come loose, and the chase is on. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Pumps it into the area. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Defending of the desperate variety. Now the cross. Away from immediate danger. And that's that. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? That's a fairly demoralising loss. They hardly threatened. 